for a world that was so downtrodden, it was really very uplifting, you know, and it, and it was saying in so many words, we can do this, but we have to do it together. But I, I that was one of the great experiences of my life. And I have, I think it's going to be on display here. I have one of the few sheets of music that I got everybody to sign. I started off doing that and Diana Ross came right behind me and we got it. We, I got everybody to sign it. over a hundred million dollars oh, for, that, a lot of money for that project. By the way, you mentioned Michael Jackson. What are your best memories of Michael Jackson? Well, he and I, you know, I did a photography book called Your Friends and Mine. And uh, I had a building in L.A. and a studio in it. Once I got Elizabeth Taylor and Michael Jackson, people were calling me to be in it. And the reason I think I got so many people like George Burns and Lucille Ball and Gregory Peck and, and all of these guys is that I promised everybody they'd be in and out in 15 minutes because I was shooting an 8 by 10 format. So you have to have a separate piece of film for every shot. I said, I'll shoot two colors and two black and whites. And if you don't like what I get, we just won't put it in the book. Well, Michael, I said, you know, you'll be in and out in 15 minutes. He stayed eight hours. He came over and he brought Bubbles, this chimpanzee with him. And we sat and talked. And I think when you get, it's like Elvis, when you get to that status, you don't have a lot of people you can just talk to. You know, I found that with President Reagan. I mean, President Reagan wanted to chit-chat with me. You know, and it was so weird. But I thought, why me? You know, but it was, it's really interesting. I think once you reach that superstardom, because, I mean, I always once told me, he said, I, I said, I'm going to run out and play some blackjack. He said, you don't know what I'd give to play blackjack with you. I said, well, come on. I thought I could talk him into it. And Colonel Parker had him, and I think rightfully so, that he would be hurt if he went out there. And he probably would have. Well, that was the same thing with Michael. He couldn't go anywhere. He couldn't be a person. And, and, and we talked about, I shot the first pictures of him with a hat because I think he was going to have some surgery done and he wanted to see if the shadows would cover it. And they're beautiful pictures, some no one's ever seen before.